Let's speak about San Zu no Heiho. This San comes from Yama or mountain, and Zu comes from Su, uh, which can also be read as uh, Ito, which means line. So San Zu is the line of the mountain. Uh, what we can see from this Heiho is that uh, it establishes or it sets a particular way to get into the enemy's guard and to cut when the, enemies, uh, when the enemy thinks that he can cut, uh, and actually he can't. We'll show it uh, using uh, Bokuto in Kenjutsu. It could be used, of course, as a Heiho in many other situations, with blades or not. But let's, let's take a look at how it could go uh, in Kenjutsu. So, uh, Sanzu no Heiho speaks about the line, the main line of action uh, in which uh, Uke enters. So, if he uh, performs, for example, a Makochi, I will use this same line of attack, and uh, in the first moment, please enter, in the first moment he will think he'll be able to cut because we are uh, nearly in, in the same plane. But there's a, a slight change, a slight uh, spin in my hip, in my hara, which makes quite difficult for him to reach us. So, there are some ways in which this could happen. One of them is to slide or, or blade, both or, or blades, which would be like this. And to cut. And there is other way, which means to enter more directly. In the same mako, you would enter like this. But it's very important to realize that Sanzu no Heiho establishes the same line of movement. Uh, if it is a ski, for, for, for instance, we will do the same thing in the same line. If he performs a Kesagiri, we will have the same thing. So if we take a closer look, what we'll see is that uh, locomotion-wise, we do the same thing. It's uh, almost a mirror of what he's doing. What makes the Tori uh, successful in his hit is that uh, he changes the angle of his hara uh, and so he can set a more uh, strong and sustainable position for what he wants to.